Oi! Today, the video I'm gonna do is a little bit different than the standard video where my wife and I sit in front of the camera and give you guys informational content on what life is like here in Brazil. Uh, today, I wanted to do a little tour of our apartment. It won't take, won't take that long because it's, it's fairly small. It's about 800 square feet, but I'm gonna go downstairs and uh, here's the balcony right here. And I'm gonna go down below and give a little 360 degree view to show you guys what we live in a sea of apartment buildings so um there's not really a whole lot to see i mean there's a few restaurants in the area but um we're surrounded by nature on this side and then nature back here we got the ocean and then the jungle and the hills so um, i wish i would have done this when we lived in sakurama because it was a lot different and it was a cool we lived in a really cool condominium complex uh, here we don't really have uh a common area at all. It's just a apartment building and then the road. So, all right, I'm going to go downstairs and then give you That's the apartment complex I live in, right here. We live on, uh, and that right there on that balcony, that's mine. And then to give you guys an idea, so right there, about 350, 400 yards is uh, a trail. It's a really cool hike actually that goes, connects to the, um, the other beach on the other side of the hill called Praia Brava. And then this way, down that down that way about the same distance it's like 350 400 yards is uh pine glazes and of course the ocean so i'm going to take you guys inside so this is uh it's a gated nice little gated area we actually have our parking spot in here that we haven't gotten to use yet so i'm going to turn this away so you don't see the code it's really nice i don't need a key in the in our other complex we had to have a key there was no code so it's a beautiful thing to be able to leave and not, not need to worry about bringing a key. So yeah, so that's, that's our parking spot. Eventually we'll use it. Nice little uh, spot to sit and think. And then you've got to use the code twice. So if you forget it between the first door and the second door, it sucks. You're just stuck. Got a nice elevator here. I'm actually going to take the elevator. And so this is kind of a, my wife was telling me when she's from Brazil, a pretty standard apartment, uh, especially from the ones that we saw, because we looked at a lot of different apartments. I mean, I'm, I'm stoked about it. This elevator is even nice. Not that that would have uh, made a difference, but yeah, everything in here is very well kept. Someone comes once a week to do the, uh, the maintenance on the building. There's a cleaning lady. And so it's, it's never in like a, a bad state. And then this is awesome because uh, me and my wife are thinking of having a, a party with uh, this fire hose here. And then uh, just in case we get out of control, we can tame it. And then this part is awesome. So yeah, no key needed for anything. So I, I can't show you guys this. I'm gonna put this down. All right, so it's fairly clean, not, not super clean. There, there she is, love of my life. There's my daughter. And there is, so we've got the kitchen area here. And then back here in the corner. This was a huge, major selling feature because not every, our last place we had to buy this. We've got our washer here. And that's where we hang our clothes because we don't have a dryer. Oh yeah, it came with uh, beach chairs and umbrella and an umbrella as well. So that part was was awesome. All the furniture it came with. So all the these paintings, this little key ring here, it came with. Um, there's 
as you can see, there's not a lot of storage space, but table's beautiful, very easy to clean. Couch is eh. But this, better this, than yeah, better than the last one in South Korea. But this, this area, every, like, obviously our books and stuff, that's all ours, but the home theater type system came with air conditioning and the heater. And then this is the uh, balcony area, the veranda. Three chairs. I sit out here some mornings. Sometimes I work out here, not very often. So there's the little barbecue that I still have yet to use. Probably won't ever use this thing. It's a little gross. There's our fins for when the water warms up. We're probably gonna go dive. I'm gonna get my daughter out there. She's gonna be a little water baby. And then uh, there's a window. So it's a two bedroom, two bath. This is the social bathroom right here. And then I'm not gonna go in that bedroom because Sammy's sister's in there. This is our master bedroom here. I hope it's clean. Oh yeah, she made the bed today. So we changed our bed. Our bed was up here and see it's got the two little shelves. It was really nice. Everything, it, it kind of looked like a, uh, like a seasonal rental when we moved in. And it still does. I guess we've made it a little homier. But uh, our daughter is gonna be, her crib is gonna be right here. So we had to change that. Um, yeah, this was nice. You know, it's not as big. The one in Sacramento we had was huge that it came with. So it was like almost twice this size. So not quite as much storage space. I'm sure my wife wishes that I would be more organized with my clothes. Hers are a little more. And then you got this little, and I, the reason I'm showing you this is because if you were to get an apartment like this, there's not really room. We don't really have room to put anything. It does in my boots. Yeah, I don't wear those very often, but when I do, it's a, always a special occasion. But yeah, you guys will probably, uh, if you're looking for apartments, this is, yeah, like I said, pretty standard. Do what? Yeah, and so the one downfall, I, I mentioned this in another video, but, uh, these, the, the, the bathroom's great, but that fan doesn't really do a whole lot. It just makes a noise. And uh, considering how humid it gets here, if I take a hot shower in here and don't have the dehumidifier on, the walls get absolutely, like, this is the best this has ever looked. I mean, I, didn't, I haven't cleaned it recently, but if you can see, the whole wall will look like that there. You can see here, kind of. I've tried to keep up on it, but yeah, we, we give a dehumidifier in here. Probably like nine, 10 hours a day. We, we just switch in between the two bathrooms. So um, when this, when, whenever I take a shower in here, I kind of like prep it. I, I put the dehumidifier in here before I even start the shower and then leave it in for at least, what, a few hours? Like a few hours until afterwards. And then when her sister takes a shower, we leave it, oh, there it is. Yeah, see? So, yeah, it gets really gross. So, anyway, that noise is kind of annoying. But, um, yeah, I know it's, it's pretty small. This is where we work, whatever that means. But yeah, so, wife and I work from here, and this is where we normally sit to do our videos. We, we bought this carpet, this didn't come with it. But yeah, these little chairs are really cool. And she is uh, starting a, a brownie business. So we're excited. I'm stoked. I just, uh, I get canker sores when I eat too many sweets. So I'm going to have to stay clear of that. But yeah, this is what uh, our apartment looks like in Brazil. And um, we have, it's a four story, it's a four story building. The first floor, uh, there's no, um, there's no, uh, no apartments, so three stories of uh, of apartments, and it's actually not too bad with noise. We hear the kids running upstairs in the mornings, and then at night sometimes we'll hear some noise. And then it's uh, I think it's split 50-50 between owners who live here and then uh, or renters, and then people who do seasonal rentals like weekends and stuff. So you'll hear people come in somewhat frequently but it's never been so loud. Like we've never been at the last place we lived. People would party until, my goodness, 
like the the people that live there and they they were the uh the hoa people too they would party until like three four in the morning with the amplifier and everything and it would literally and i don't Keep yeah it would shake the house <laughs> So it's way, it's definitely way quieter. And living off of a busy road, we thought that, or my initial thought was, man, it's going to be so loud. It's, uh, cause this is kind of known as a pretty touristy area. And granted, we're not in the tourist season right now. It's winter. So I'm sure it does, but yeah, it's not, it doesn't get loud at all. Like there's one bar in the area, which is, it's amazing. It's a, it's a restaurant bar and, uh, and they play music, but they, they don't. It's never so loud, like you can hear it when you get on the street, but it's, it's pleasant. It's not, they don't jam out until four in the morning and shaking the, uh, shaking the, buildings. the buildings. Yeah. So yeah, I've given you guys the tour. If uh, you have any questions or comments, uh, I'll, I'll try and do a few more videos like this. I was going to do one just kind of like what our daily life looks like. So I was going to, if I finally, can surf again there was a up until yesterday actually they had it's it, you're not allowed to surf from at least in the northern beaches of the island because of the taina is a fish that spawns here i still haven't figured that out but anyway they don't allow surfing and yesterday was the first day so it was awesome so do a video walking down to the beach with my wife and uh, getting wet. So yeah, if you guys, please subscribe. I, I never say that on the videos, but it does, now that I've watched other YouTube videos where I used to think everybody said it and it was kind of annoying, but it does help my channel. And I am trying to uh, grow the channel and do more videos for you guys. I'd like to do this more often than I do. At least a, a video a week is my goal. So. Yeah, subscribe, like, and uh, share it with people that are, you know, interested in moving to Brazil or enjoy this content. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.